Before the Indian Army can think about leaving Bangladesh, 93,000 Pakistani prisoners of war will have to be transported to India. 25,000 of them are here in the Dhaka cantonment getting ready to leave, guarded from possible Bengali vengeance by the men with whom less than a fortnight ago they were at war. The Indian Army's Chief of Staff, General Sam Manekshaw, who's been paying a two-day visit to his troops in Dhaka, says that at the moment some 3,000 prisoners of war a day are being taken out of the country. He hoped that by the beginning of next month the daily average would be 10,000 and that in any case by the 15th of January all of them would be in Indian prisoner of war camps. By that day too, the general said, he would have reduced Indian armed forces here by 25,000. But they still can't all go home. For one thing, they're the only agency in the area capable of seeing that the 10 million Bengali refugees now in India get safely back to Bangladesh. For another, Indian soldiers, no matter how much the Indian government likes to play this down, are the only people capable of keeping law and order here and protecting minority groups from Bengali retribution. In addition, the army is safeguarding the lives of those Bengalis who ran the civil administration for Pakistan. The Bangladesh government is setting up a war crimes tribunal to try Dr. Malik and his colleagues. Will the Indian army be told by Delhi to hand them over? I asked Mr. D.P. Dar, Mrs. Gandhi's special envoy to Bangladesh. Uh, we are in the horns of a dilemma, I must uh, admit to you. On the one hand, we do not want to do anything which is against the norms which is, uh, of, of international behavior. Nor do we want to do anything, on the other hand, which would even remotely impinge on the sovereign rights of the Bangladesh government and Bangladesh state. What does that mean in practice? Are you going to hand people over to a war crimes that, tribunal That uh, means, for the time being, uh, that the position is being legally examined. As any victorious army would be, Indian armed forces are now deeply involved for the foreseeable future in the way this new country is going to develop. Richard Lindy, News at 10, Dakar. The train is on its way to the river port of Naranganj, a dozen miles away. The operation began long before dawn. At the cantonment siding, Brigadier H.S. Clare supervised the loading of the train. Like all Indian commanders, he'll be glad when these POWs have all been safely moved across the border. Here, they're a potentially dangerous cause of friction with the local population. The train was well guarded by Indian soldiers in case of any hostile demonstration by Bengalis. What's the attitude <coughs> of these people on this train? Are they, are they glad to go or what? Well, they're happy to get away from here, mm. certainly. I'm quite sure that uh, they won't have any hostile attitude when they go to the India. Mm. Whereas in this place they can't get out at all. Are you worried about any demonstrations on the way to the boat? No, I'm not, because I think we're taking uh, sufficient precautions to make sure that nothing happens. Mm. At Naranganj, a Pakistani naval commander organized the embarkation. All right, commander, Apart from their military kit, the men took nothing with them but food and cooking equipment. The railway line ran right onto the dockside, sparing them the humiliation of a jeering Bengali crowd. Even so, a small group on the roof of a harbour building broke into jubilant shouts as the prisoners trudged down the quayside. At every step, there were Indian soldiers to protect them had it proved necessary. Bengalis are not best pleased to see their enemies go home, apparently scot-free. But there's a long way to go before these men can expect repatriation. First, the 36-hour boat trip through the river system to Kulna, then a long journey across the border into West Bengal by train, and on to the prisoner of war camps on the Ranchi Plateau in Bihar. With the men go their families and the civilian employees of the Pakistan army. But there's no indication yet that other West Pakistani civilians, like the police chief or even the staff of Pakistan International Airways, are going to be moved. For the moment, the emphasis is on getting the soldiers out before their presence here causes trouble. And because many are still being brought into Dhaka from outlying areas, there are now 33,000 people to be shipped down the river. For those Bengalis cheering on the roof there, it's another day to savour the sweet taste of victory. For these prisoners of war, the bitterness of defeat.
What lies ahead of these men is nothing but a tedious journey and the boredom of prison camp routine. But at least now, they've begun that long journey home. Richard Lindley, News at 10, Narangange.